So I've been debating the whole Vlogmas thing, which for someone like me who has routinely posted a maximum of about once a week, uh, that's a big undertaking. I will just not number the Vlogmas days. You know, most people do Vlogmas day one, day two, day three, leading up to it. I'm just not gonna number them and then we won't know if I skip a day, right? Um, I know this, not necessarily because I'm terrible with time management or I can look at my dog boarding schedule and tell you that I'm swamped or that I'm still way behind in making a lot of my Christmas gifts for people or any of the above, um, but actually because of my internet. I've mentioned this before, but just to give you some perspective, the video I uploaded most recently took over 24 hours to finish uploading. Internet's terrible. It is the only service provider and it costs me $100 a month for nothing. Actually speaking of, when I sat down to film this, which I probably should have. Oh my gosh, hold on. I was hoping if I just spun around and had the light shining on me and said um, that maybe you wouldn't be able to see. Wow, I was so wrong. For instance, I sat down to film this and then looked and realized I don't have internet at all right now. So, and that's, that's totally normal for around here. Off to a great start. <sighs> don't um, set your expectations too high, basically. You. Hi. Oh, they're so jealous. Hi. 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 So jealous. Oh, you fell. No. Yeah. You can see my you know what those are, then you also know why I named my ferrets the way I did. Farm life. Just sitting in here thinking I'm gonna be lazy and work on a quilt that I'm doing for a Christmas present all day and I always forget where to look on my iPhone. Look out the window and Oreo the pig is walking across the yard with his friend. That means there's a pig escape. It's very common because pigs are very strong and very smart. So it's a really nice day and they thought they would just take a walk. So that meant had to go out there, call them all back in with food, check the whole fence line, repair the hole. Because again, the outdoor pigs are mainly pigs that I have adopted um, as adults. And so they don't necessarily enjoy being handled. They're just a little more wild in general, don't really have manners, I've never been in a house, things like that. They are destructive and prone to escapes. So that's something to keep in mind for anyone that is getting a pig and keeping them outside. You are going to have to do an insane amount of pig proofing. I have a cattle fence wrapped all the way around it with T-posts, um, which they just laughed at and went right under. And then put pallets, mostly pieces of fence and pallets and everything else. It doesn't look beautiful right now, but um, all along the outside of that as well. Uh, and that kind of helps. And then, because they were still breaking through and they're so, so strong. Um, so there is also a hot wire run all along the inside at the bottom to stop them from rooting or essentially digging holes underneath all of it. That is for their own safety. There is a road which isn't exactly a quiet road out in front of us. So I don't wanna risk any pigs running out to the road. Just got them back in and now I'm tired. So while I've been sewing and crocheting and all of that, I've had YouTube videos playing in the background and a lot of them were like Black Friday, Cyber Monday hauls. Most of them, people were featuring like all of the clothing and makeup and name brand items and Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret and all this other stuff. Uh, that was their haul. Mine was a lot of fabric and other arts and crafts items and uh, let's see, some bath towels, some new pillows, uh, some fuzzy blankets, some curtains. <laughs> I am such a functioning adult now, but one of the splurges. I did, however, splurge a little bit and get a Roomba. I've considered one for a long time. I've heard great things about them, but honestly, in this house, I just don't know that a Roomba can keep up. There's a lot of dogs in here <laughs> and a lot of dog hair. I've been using it for a couple of days and so far I'm kind of loving it. I'll keep you all posted if anybody else is interested in a Roomba. Like I kind of want another one. Also, I love this time of year as a dog sitter. 
because everybody gets Christmas puppies and I get to love them for them and it's amazing. I also get to deal with housebreaking them and all that other good stuff, but uh, come on, this is my job. You know, it keeps me up all night long. This is the extent of my Christmas decorating so far. Uh, might be the beginning and the ending, depending on how brave I feel, because the dogs I watch like to destroy things. Oh, right. So, that's it so far. I think later this week, maybe we'll bust out the tree and everything. Go adventure. It's okay. So nice today. It's been it's been cold and rainy, but it's so nice today. I can leave the doors and windows open. I love it. We did like a girls' craft day, um, and I have a bunch more that I want to do. But made these little decorative cone trees um, that I can never move because uh, it's the biggest glitter and sequin catastrophe ever. Oh, see. But they're pretty right there, forever. These wine bottles are the other crafts that we did. Just recycling things. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Just down here cleaning up your mess. You could say thank you. Say thank you. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I caught you. <laughs> if you're wondering why I don't film more often in here, I'm always in here, but um, but they like to talk when I'm talking. So, generally the tortoise eats out of like a terracotta dish. Only reason right now, tonight, he's not is because I'm washing it, but generally he eats out of that because it helps to keep their beaks shortened, filed. It's the face of resentment. Why do you hate me? When I'm feeding everyone except for him. He's like a child. Hello, excuse me. Pulling on my pant leg. Hello. I'm hungry. Trust me, Halo. I cannot forget about you. I promise. We have another one over here. Just making sure. Don't forget our food. And the cat. Happy update on the ferret enclosure. They have learned how to navigate every one of these tubes. And they love it. And they do it all day long. Oh no, it's a traffic jam. Uh, unhappy update. They are still not using their litter box like they always have. Whoa. Um, so, that's a work in progress. You have no idea how thankful I am for that obnoxious sound behind me because all day long my washer has not worked and I was planning on going washer shopping tomorrow. I just played with the settings and for some reason it'll work on large load but not on super. So it's a little after eight and I'm about to send the last dog of the day home. Can't say it enough. Um, I've had people ask me about the dog boarding thing and just people in my life who assume that it's lazy or easy or something. Um, I do get to stay home most days, but I start work at 5 a.m. and end work at anywhere between like eight and 10. Um, again, work, I'm hanging out with dogs, but you'll probably get a glimpse into this further. Your, your mom's here. Uh, if I continue to keep up with the vlogs. Last time I was here, they had a pig and I thought about buying it and didn't. I feel like this happened last year. I should have learned my lesson. It's gone. They have some other really cute ones though. Here either. I guess it just means there's lots of other pig lovers, so I shouldn't complain. I'm on the fence about this because pig dog toys are always adorable, but like, I also don't want my dogs chewing on pigs. Most people, oh look, cute wine bottle covers. Me, perfect size sweaters for my mini pigs. I'm playing a lot. Most people like the, like, 
sugar cookie and snickerdoodle and whatever else than it Christmas candles. Give me the stuff that smells like a tree. That is what I feel like Christmas should smell like. I always buy any handmade pottery stuff that I find. Okay, well. So I like these cups. I love it. So I'm in the little car, not the truck. And I might be riding home with this in my lap because I love it. And it's only $8. I'm so excited. Back home now. I survived all of my shopping. Some more stuff I wanted to mention that I found at Goodwill. I always buy all of my pet bowls at Goodwill. So I got this huge stack. They're actually the bottoms to plants, I guess. But this is the good um, like terracotta stuff mm -hmm. that I like to use for like the tortoise, for instance, like I was talking about yesterday because it helps um, trim his beak. So I have a huge stack. I don't even know how many is in here. Six? Six bowls for $2.92. Uh, and then I got seven of these little bowls for 99 cents each. And then this, I always get like the vegetable looking ones for the guinea pigs and rabbit and everything because I think they're cute. So I have a ton of bowls now and I will probably never need more, but um, because the cottage is over there and I'm over here, it makes it a lot easier to just have a bunch of extras where I can take new ones over, get the dirty ones out, bring them back when I finish washing them and not have to worry about running out. So lots of bowls for the pets. And when I got back, it's upside down, but finally, exactly two weeks later, this thing actually arrived. It was terribly wrapped. So I'm hoping that it's not broken. Was not kidding. I got a whole collection of them, but their arms even go all the way. Got this at Goodwill. For the pigs to use the scratching clothes. Oh, these guys are going nuts. It's covered in puppies. It's so terrible. Look at all these puppies going crazy. Um, yeah, this is not for you. It's meant for cats, but it's gonna be given to the pigs. And you are doing everything wrong. This is wrong. You're doing it wrong. Guys, guys. Oh, now you're stuck. Come here. Let's do that. They have not quit all day. They're having so much fun. I bought this giant metal sign, uh, but I don't particularly like what it says. And there was some like $40 signs at Michael's, big metal signs that um, I did like the saying on. So we're going to see if I can DIY this. So I've been waiting on this for a really long time. I ordered it on Amazon. I don't know why it took so long, but... This is a spray that I think I mentioned in my other video. Um, it's called Polished Pig Soothing Spray Conditioner. If you have a pig, if you've been around pigs, you know that they're super itchy and usually really flaky and just prone to skin irritations. Um, so I usually just use like a spray coconut oil and it really helps. The only thing is it tastes and smells good to them. So they then just spend like the next two hours licking it off each other. Still makes a difference, but um, this, however, reading the ingredients, this might taste good too. Spray onto pig, massage into pig, cuddle pig. <laughs> the ingredients honestly aren't bad. Deionized water, hydrolyzed oat proteins, colloidal oatmeal, siloxane glycerin, siloxane glycerin, wheat germ glycerides, botanical cedar extract, vitamins A, D, and E. Polished pig soothing spray conditioner with natural oatmeal, wheat germ, and almond oil to ease. I didn't see almonds anywhere in the ingredients. Maybe it's one of those things I couldn't pronounce, but why wouldn't it just be called almonds? I'm suspicious. Anyways, it sounds pretty good. Ooh, let me see what it smells like. Just sit in this plant. That's a terrible angle. Never film yourself at this angle. Trust me. Okay, I like it better after the initial impression. There's the cedar smell, which I love the smell of cedar, but uh, it's kind of funny because it's mixed with like the oatmeal-y smell. I'll try it and let you know what I think. I'm a pig product reviewer. <laughs> Actually, I really do want to be a pet product reviewer. Is that a thing? That's what I'm gonna do. For now on this channel, it's just pet. No, that's gonna get expensive. Send me pet products and I'll review them. I don't know what this ball pit ball did to offend the ferret so much, but um, they killed it.
my $3.99 three wick candle from Aldi, the fresh balsam one. It smells incredible. I bought the only two they had and I really wish they had more. It's so good. It's only been burning like a second and this whole room smells like it. Also on the fragrance in this, uh, sprayed outside the bottle and on a pig, it smells so much better. My pigs smell amazing but we'll see if it actually helps their skin.